Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, we got a lot of stuff planned for today. Let's get to it. We try to go down the stairs without falling. We are now going to go to the UPS store and then we're just gonna go out for a little bit and play. So as you can see, it is a gorgeous sunny day out. Lots of sunshine. There's the sunspot for the cat. However, it is not warm. It's maybe in the in the low 50s. So I'm gonna have to put a jacket on, a, a light jacket, because I don't like big thick jackets. But anyways, let's go out and have some fun. Okay, so the results of my blood test and my doctor's appointment that I had today yielded concern. Concerned that I'm not doing what I need to do. And that is I need to eat better. I need to exercise consistently. I just need to stop being a jackass. I have to face the fact that I'm the age that I am and that shit starts not working correctly. And I start to pay the piper for a lifelong pursuit of eating whatever the hell I want because I feel like I can. Going forward now, this is not going to be a health channel, but I am going to be documenting this ongoing battle that I have with myself of doing dumb shit that I know isn't good for me and dealing with the consequences of that. And conversely, doing things that are good for me and showing that you can reverse things and live a healthier life with some small changes, but consistent changes. That being said, I had my oatmeal with blueberries, I had an apple, and I had a cup of coffee. I have part of that apple stuck in my teeth. I've flossed, I've rinsed, I can't get rid of it. It's throwing my bite off and it's bugging the shit out of me. Such is life. Well, let's go get a new shirt. Bean has been gotten. There's going to be a lot of green drinks in my future. I'm going to stop being a jackass and I'm going to start going that whole Tony Stark Iron Man 2 route where I'm drinking a lot of green stuff to get the poison out of my body. It's necessary. So yay. All right, kids, so I have been running around like a chicken without a head, doing a bunch of stuff. I went and obviously got bean, took it to my wife, went to the UPS store, picked up packages, I have since gone home and done a whole host of shit. I'm on my way to the boot barn. So I bought these ropers the other day and they fit really well and they're mostly comfortable. The problem is though, is that they don't actually have like a, you know, one of those like sporty type insoles in it. And I'm a heel striker. In fact, every pair of shoes I have, I, I ruin them by destroying the heel before anything else. That puts a lot of pressure on my heels, which then puts a lot of pressure on my hips and my spine, blah, 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 blah. So I thought that I would go and just get some insoles, but not like off the shelf Dr. Scholl shit. I'm going to the boot barn where they actually sell boots like this and all that stuff, and they have proper inserts. Uh, they should have ariats. I did buy those ariat insoles for my harness boots, and they actually have them so that they're you can get them cut in the, with a square toed, because those harness boots are square toed, uh, so they won't fit in these. Not without me trimming them and screwing them up. So I'm just going to go get a probably, probably I say a normal pair of ariat insoles or something along those lines that'll fit in here. And then I have a little bit more cushioning. It's 4.30. So by the time I'm done, it'll be dark when I get home and all that stuff and meh. Well, that was fun. Uh, I did get the insoles and came out and it was dark out. I mean, like that. So now I'm trapped in rush hour traffic and I don't know where the hell I'm going because I pulled out into this road thinking that that was where I needed to be, but I'm actually a couple of blocks too far this way. So I got in the wrong lane and I had to go through this little area and do a U-turn and try to get back out here. And it's just like, nah. And I live here and I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. I am getting very antsy to take pictures. I haven't done that in a while and you know, sometimes carrying all this gear with me when I go out and run errands, it's just not optimal. So, and it's not like anything is pocketable. So, you know, I have this thing on the tripod, which is what I carry around, but I've gotten used to this now. This is kind of like my go-to. It's carbon fiber, and then I can extend it if I need to. So that's fine. But then if I'm carrying my X-T4, it's still, you know, again, it's not pocketable. So not that I'm complaining about it though, I still love it, but it's sometimes cumbersome to carry all this shit around. So I haven't been, 
meaning I haven't been taking any pictures and I need to change that. I got to get that back into my flow, my daily flow of always taking pictures and, and filming and, and editing and all that shit. So, and I got to stop saying so because I realized I started to say so too much again. I'm going to spend some time on the, Jesus, it looks like I'm on a spotlight. That's, that's literally just my phones. Let me turn that off. That's like insane. Okay. I have definitely found lately, especially that driving at night is just downright painful. And I don't know if it's because of these glasses, because of my windshield, because of all the shit that's on my windshield. The lights are all like laser beams. It's just absolutely brutal. So I'm literally right, like on the right side of the vehicle here is the Oceana Naval Base. So you can hear the plane taking off. It's literally taking off and flying right over my head. So it's pretty loud. There's the second one. All right, I'm gonna stop talking because I need to pay attention because this road is very narrow. All right, so it's been an interesting day. I've done a lot of stuff all over the place. Now, the big thing is I have to decide what I'm gonna do about this gear that I was considering selling, meaning the ZV-E10, the 90 millimeter macro, possibly the 85 G Master, maybe even the 24 to 70 G Master. I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place with that stuff. Like one day I want to sell it, next day I don't. I have to make that decision because I need to get that shit posted, you know, sooner rather than later. That way I can catch the wave of people buying shit for Christmas and, and get it all taken care of before it becomes an issue. Other than that, there's nothing else going on. So I'm just going to end this video now. It's just been a smorgasbord day of a lot of stuff. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, Leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.